But for Masataka Yoshida, he's doing his part. And I was listening to the sound of his teammates talk about his swing. And they said it's almost unslumpable because it's sound and the bat through the yeah. zone. When you watch him, what, what do you notice? Yeah, hard contact. Lauren, like I said, I was sitting there delayed four hours. So I, text, I honestly, I texted <laughs> Alex Cora. I said, give me something on Yoshida. What did he say? Two things. He okay. said, unbelievable clubhouse presence okay. and great teeth. I said, well, I was I about to say the same I thing. I can't bring that to yeah, the skybox. He's got great teeth. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are they veneers? I, I don't know, but they look great. I don't think so. Usually when you have veneers, it looks like you got way too many teeth in your mouth like and you're chicken. struggling. He yeah. doesn't look like he's struggling. Okay, okay. He's definitely not struggling at the plate. This guy, I remember being on the desk when they signed him five for 90 and everybody's <laughs> like, whoa, was anyone close to five for 90? It has worked like a gem and he's on fire. Let's get into it real quick. He has been crazy good. Look at this. This is MLB ranks. Strikeout percentage, fourth. Weighted runs created plus, which is one of the better offensive metrics. He's 12th in all of baseball. He's seeing these guys for the first time. On base percentage, 11. Batting average, he's fourth. He has been everything. And I have also noticed him and Freddie Freeman go aggressive high pan. Aggressive. <laughs> so that's going to have to come down as the season progresses. But let's get into it. He is 20 for his last 43 killing the baseball and yesterday was kind of a perfect storm for him. There's nothing more Americana than the Cubbies and Boston weekend series in Fenway or Wrigley. It doesn't matter. And he made a subtle adjustment we're going to get into at the end of April. Pause this real quick. Bring that back for me. OK, I want to set the scene right here. Two nothing Red Sox bases loaded. There was nobody out, bases loaded. He got Devers out, Adam Duvall out, and here comes this beast real quick. Capalbo, can you do me a favor? Bring up the first pitch swing percentage board if we could. Okay, take a look at this. And I noticed this about Adley Rutschman because on social media, follow this codify, and they were showing how many first pitches he gets called on him that are actually off the plate. So I was kind of on this a little bit, but Mazataka Yoshida does not swing at the first pitch. I mean, he has got some serious peepers, not afraid to hit with two strikes and can spray it all over the field. And this is a perfect microcosm. This is Mr. Steele. This is a National League All-Star right here in a 0-0 count, bases drunk, packed house at Wrigley run this. This is not a bad pitch. I'm shocked he take, took that pause. So he spits on two pitches right there, and he's in a 2-0 count. He got slider away, heater away. He's a two-pitch pitcher, and he said, I got to go get him right here. I'm not going to 3-0 with Yoshida. Run this. Ball's blistered down the line for a grand slam. Great swing right there. Perfect balance. We'll throw in a triple as well, just for good measure. Stand-up triple in Wrigley, and there are not big gaps out there. So for you to get a stand-up triple in that ballpark, you're doing something right. You had to catch a corner real quick. And we're going to get into a side angle right here. I want you to look at his swing. Pause it. I want you to notice his hands. Kind of chest high right here. And we're going to get into a side-by-side. -side. When he first started in the beginning of the season, he almost felt stuck. So run this real quick. Run that back for me one time. Slow-mo this. I want you to follow the hands. Follow the hands. They're going to go up. Pause. OK, Barry Bonds used to talk about this all the time. I, it was one of the things with, that worked in my swing. For me, I wasn't a guy who could load back. It felt tight to me chest tight, whatever the case may be. Some guys could move their hands very subtly back and it worked. I had to load down and had to make sure they got back up. If it was down here and I fired from here, I was in trouble. But if they got back up, I felt like I could have the direct bat path to the baseball. So he has eliminated one of those moves, right? He's dropped his hands chest high, created a little bit more rhythm and timing, and then they're back up and he's cooking through the baseball. Run this. Mm. Nice little flip the other way. Pause. Take you back to April. 
Talk about feeling stuck. Hands are much higher. Watch him almost present that arm bar setup where I'm here. And if you do this at home, kids at home, if you sit here almost preset, there's really nowhere to go. You almost are a statue. And then you're not giving your best effort. You're not being athletic to the baseball. Run this. Subtle adjustments throughout the year. They're still raising back into the same position. And the reason I bring up Victor Martinez, had a chance to play with him when I got traded over to Cleveland 2009. You talk about a guy who could catch barrels all over the ballpark, line to line, rhythm and timing, bring up their comp numbers. Pretty crazy. Ooh. So for him to come over, see these guys for the first time, and give you Victor Martinez-like production is pretty special. Boston's interesting. I want to see what they do at the deadline. Yeah. Pitching staff's been dinged up, but they're grinding. I've been Who trying knows? to look at his teeth the whole time <laughs> doing the skybox. <laughs> no, they're, they're, they're quite spectacular.